All right, guys. So for our first very ever video and class in the ATN ATN Patreon page, um, we are down here in the deep run tram. I'm excited to kick off things here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get to on the other side of the portal here in back into Stormwind. Uh, basically, there is a big smoke and mirrors part over here, and I'm going to be showing you the same thing for Iron Forge how to get down into the uh, fight club area down below the tram and how to actually get in the water area to find Nessie. So we're going to be starting here right outside the portal. Now, the way that you're going to go about this is um, now the easiest way that I have found to use this trick is it's a very simple old trick for demon hunters. What you're going to want to do is line yourself up against the pole or the beam or whatever you want to call it right here. And when you do this, you're going to want to jump, jump, like double jump. And then once you double jump and glide out, you're going to want to vengeful retreat. So it's going to be something like this. Now, you see that how fast it went? You can practice that here. And that is a very easy way to get on top of structures, onto pillars, stuff like that. And that's going to help you out. Now, once we're up here, this is a very important part. You're going to want to jump up straight up here once you're on the beam and be careful walking along the edge here but we're going to want to get to the very top of the beam here and we're going to want our person just sticking out kind of like that now once we get up here and we're above the sea so you see the ceilings above us we're kind of wedged in between here once we do that uh we're going to want to build our dark moon seesaw hopefully it doesn't fall down uh, i don't think that was high enough maybe though i think we should still be okay and then we're just going to drop back down on the pillar we're going to use our uh okay well we fell but that's okay we can get back up the verkill drinking horn that's going to help us grow and what we're going to do is do the same technique and method again and we're going to get on top of the seesaw once we jump off we're going to be out of the map so there you go we have already got out of the map now this is kind of the hard important part now, as you guys can see, as we're sticking out of the map here, there is the Stormwind background. Now, the way you get over there is you're going to want to fell rush, fell rush, and then just land on this side of the map over here. It might take you a few tries to do. It's not very difficult. Just make sure you don't stick along this edge or this edge. And the reason being is because if you do that, you're going to hit the trigger to go back in outside to Stormwind and you're going to hit the portal. So if we do this correctly, we can uh, get out of the map. So we're going to fell rush, fell rush. Uh, we might not make it. But there you go. <laughs> that's how to simply get over there. Uh, we failed that, but uh, yeah, that's how to break out. So uh, it's 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 not the easiest thing to land. But you know, right here we can actually just drop. We're just gonna die. So we're just gonna fall into the nothing. But uh, I'll see you guys in the Iron Forge side. All right, so we're back from the dead. Obviously, we failed the jump. Now, I'll tell you guys, getting into that other side of the portal is a lot easier on the other uh, pillar. So I would definitely recommend doing it from the left side instead of the right where I did it. You will definitely make it if you jump, do a running start, jump, glide, fell rush, fell rush. And it just it's a lot easier that way. So you'll definitely make it on the left side. I think the right side is a lot harder to follow. So anyways, guys, um, you guys hear that noise? That is the deep run tram, the fight club down below. And it's a VIP area that you need to unlock. If I remember correctly, doing a quest. I, I don't remember exactly how you unlock that place. It's been a long time. I've already unlocked it on all my characters. I don't know if it's open for everybody, but I think there is a quest chain that you need to do in order to unlock that place down there. Now, if you ever want to get down there and you don't actually want to, you know, do the quest, you can do the same thing doing over here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be lining up with the pillar. Obviously, again, we're going to do our same tactic with the vengeful retreat. We're going to jump on top of the pillar again. We're going to get to the very top. Remember, our guy's sticking up. And we're going to place the seesaw. And then we're going to jump back down. And we're going to use our bike kill drinking horn. And we're going to jump on top of the seesaw again. And once we get back up, we are out of the map again. So remember, 
the uh, VIP area and all that is over here actually for the Fight Club. But if you jump over, you can get into Bismo's Brawl Club right here. Now, unfortunately, you can't get in the VIP area, but you can get in here without having to actually uh, unlock it with the quest or just, you know, go through the chain. So that's really neat. If you want to get in the middle there, you can as well. You can get in the back here. Um, and I believe that's ground back there and solid. So I think you can walk, but just be careful. You might fall through and then you'll be, you'll either die or be stuck in a DC loop. So that is the uh, gizmos brawl pub side of things you can get to so really cool all right guys we are currently traveling in the deep run tram and we're gonna head to the middle area with all the water and the section where nessie is right here we're gonna be jumping off the tram and we are officially on the right tram over here we're gonna be jumping off and the reason i jump off here is because there is one particular spot on this side of the map only where there's not these blocking barriers. So what I mean by that is if you notice right here, there's a spot where you can actually um, jump up on top of uh, right here. So once you get up here, you're just gonna wanna do the same thing in the ceiling. Um, so how do I get in the aquarium? Well, if I wanna go swim with Nessie, it's very simple. Now, if you guys remember the Dark Moon Seesaw, we're gonna be using that a lot in here because that's gonna be our secret weapon. So we're gonna build that thing right up here. All right, we're gonna back down a little bit because we need some room. We're gonna activate our drinking horn. We're gonna grow ourselves. We're gonna get on top of this thing and boom, we are out of the deep run trend. Now we're out, not out officially. All we need to do is go out this way and there we go we are officially out now you can swim in here be careful the basking sharks will attack you and they are 70 elites so just the heads up there now what's very interesting here is if you come over here you can walk on the ground there you go and you'll actually stop breathing so it's like you're back in the tram now if you want to get back out just simply go back out and you can do this same trick jump over that way and you can actually go to that side as well so if you want to ever wanted to open up the deep run tram chest that is the way you do it it's very simple not too hard we're gonna lose our uh, drinking horn and i will see you guys in iron forge be right back all right guys last but not least we are officially on the iron forge side and we're going to be doing the same thing we did on the storm one side where i failed obviously <laughs> but uh i'm going to show you guys over here as well so if you want to get behind the portal what you're going to want to do is uh, line yourself up against the pillar you're going to double jump fly out and then vengeful retreat up just like always and then you're just going to get yourself up here and you're going to want to get yourself um Aligned with the wall upstairs here. So there we go. And we're going to build our seesaw. Now I will warn you guys. Sometimes the seesaw does fall. And it will glitch. And it will land on the ground. Sometimes it happens. Not always. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build, you know, do our drinking horn. We're going to enlarge ourselves. We're going to get back on the seesaw. And once we get up. We are officially up here again. Now, what's kind of neat is you can kind of get an idea of how big the tram is because you can see Stormwind all the way on the other side over there. So, in order for us to do this, and we're going to attempt it again, I'm going to do a second attempt here. I'm going to try to aim more on the left side because it's a little harder. There we go. We made it in. Boom. So I think Iron Forge is a lot shorter than Stormwind, obviously. So um, what we're going to want to do is uh, we should be good in here. Look at someone just saw us fly in. <laughs> now, what's really interesting, you can actually interact with the mailbox in here. But that's it, guys. That is how to get into the Iron Forge section. So if you want to go explore these places, this is how to exploit the deep run tram. It's a really neat place to go see. I highly recommend you check it out. If you guys want to see my exploration of these places, I have videos up on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the first ever Patreon video guide. So take care.